In this video, I'm gonna talk about the best place to install LUTs on your system. There are actually three different ways you can install them. The first one being you can just put them in any area on your computer and then inside Premiere Pro, you can simply navigate and select the LUT. The problem with that is it won't be saved in your LUT folder, so every single time you'll have to go and navigate to that one single file. The second way is installing your LUTs in the Premiere Pro folder for LUTs. The problem is when you go to export, if you export through Media Encoder, you're also gonna have to install the LUTs in the media encoder folder, same with After Effects. Also, if you update to a new Adobe app, your LUTs aren't gonna be in the new versions. If this video is helpful to you, hit the subscribe button. We have over 150 other videos just like it on the channel. So there's a ton of other content that you can learn from. All right, let's jump in. I'll talk about the third way to install LUTs. All right, so today I'll be working on a PC, but this applies to Mac as well. But first, like I showed you in the beginning, I wanna show you if we go into our C drive program files, Adobe, right here we can see all our files. So Premiere Pro, Media Encoder, and After Effects. Originally, if we wanted the LUTs to appear in version 2021, Media Encoder and After Effects, we'd have to add the LUTs to literally every single folder inside the Adobe Premiere Lumetri LUTs folder structure, as well as the LUTs folders in Media Encoder and After Effects. But then you update to a new version, Adobe Premiere 2022, for example. And then the problem is, of course, that since you put the LUTs in the 2021 versions, it doesn't exist in the 2022 version. So how do you get around that? Well, there is a folder called Common. If you go into common, normally the LUTs folder doesn't exist, but if you create a new folder called LUTs, and then in there create one called creative and technical, and then inside these folders, that's where you place your LUTs, you only have to do that once. Then any new version of Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Media Encoder will by default find the LUTs and list them in Premiere Pro. Now again, if you're on Mac, it works the same way. It's just a slightly different folder structure. So make sure you are creating that folder if you don't have it and then adding the LUTs into the common area. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this one. We have over 150 other videos that are tutorials and review videos, how to's. So there's a lot of content that you can learn from. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.